Hey guys, um, I have a new project on my bench this morning. This is something I just bought at a flea market. I got this for $60. Um, it's an Epiphone Les Paul 100. So it doesn't have binding or anything, but it's still a very beautiful. It's got a beautiful finish on it. Um, the guy was only asking 80 for it, but um, he was, I think he was having trouble selling it because it had a neck repair. And uh, I'll show a picture of what it looks like, looked like when I bought it and what it looks like now. Um, and I've done a little bit of work to it already, just filling. I filled some of the, um, there was a little bit of finish cracks and uh, I just filled that with super glue. And then I sprayed it with some uh, lacquer. So what I have going for me is the fact that the paint right here, Duplicolor Perfect Match. This dries quickly, it wet sands well, and it's pretty durable. I've used it a lot. Um, and you can spray paint it, and I've even wet sanded it the same day, but on, you know, usually I wait till the next day. This color that I'm going to try is called Bright Red, and there's the numbers. And this is from Napa Auto Parts, but you can get it on Amazon and other places. AutoZone, things like that. So... The other thing that I have going for me is the fact that the neck and the body from the factory aren't even the same color. So my options are like if I paint this here and it's slightly off, it's not going to be that big of a deal because wood has different shades and stuff like that. So, um, and also if I were to, you know, if it doesn't blend, you know, even halfway decent, I could just paint the whole neck and it'll be fairly easy to match this color rather than this. This is kind of like a cherry red, and this is more like a, uh, almost like a wine red. And I think they are original to each other because I've seen that a lot on guitars where they're not painted the same day. You know, they might even be painted like a month apart, and then they're assembled in the factory. So that's not a big deal. So before I paint, I'm just giving it a very, very light scuffing with this ultra fine scotch bright pad. And then I'll clean it, um, clean the surface. Um, I've always used just regular rubbing alcohol to clean the guitar before I paint. But um, someone did tell me that... Um, I think Gibson's, they had a trouble, they had the, this person had a personal experience where the, um, they cleaned their guitar with alcohol and it had uh, dissolved the finish or something like that. Um, but I told him I, I really don't have any high end guitars usually, so I don't know, you know, what finish it would destroy, but, you know, use your own discretion and check out what what's good to uh clean yours but all the guitars i ever had are like squires and epiphones and things like that to paint and i haven't had any issues with that and i just wipe it on real quick and wipe it off and then i'm painting so i think he was just cleaning his guitar uh not for paint but just to clean it so it might have stuck on there for longer i don't know So that's just the first coat and it's very uh, light. So I'll let that dry and then do several more. All right, this is at, um, still kind of wet, but this is after about six to seven coats. Um, I can already kind of tell that it's a good match for the body, but not for the neck. So I may end up painting this uh, neck completely, 
but not for this video. For this video, I'm still going to concentrate on blending this. So I'm going to wait about 10 to 20 minutes and then I'll pull the tape off and we'll see how big of a difference it is. Um, so I like to pull the tape off while it's still um, kind of wet so it doesn't tear. Well guys, this, is, this should probably come as no surprise to anybody, but this job is either considered a 50% failure, failure or a 50% success. Um, the success is the paint itself. It came out um, very smooth and glossy. Um, yeah, it's very smooth. I still need to do a little more polishing on the original paint where I had overlapped. And I'd like to do possibly some more sanding on the edges to kind of blend it better but if you see the you can see the line there you can see it's a really good match for the body but not the neck so that's why i'm calling it a 50 50. Um, i am deciding i have decided to keep it this way for now and just play the guitar and see see what else might creep up that it might need but um so far it's played well and stays in tune as best that a Les Paul stays in tune. Um, so definitely I guess I should invest in an airbrush and uh, mix my own paints. And as you can see, you can get a really good, well from the spray cans, you can get a really good uh, shine. So after I did the painting, I did this all in one day actually, I didn't even really let it dry that much it dried really quick so i wet sanded it on the where the spots where i had the runs i uh, wet sanded them down with 400 but then i went up to 800 uh, and i skipped right to 1500 and then did 2500 and 3000 and i finished up with um automotive uh buffing comp uh, rubbing polishing compound excuse me yeah polishing compound the white stuff and I put a little wax on it and it just feels great. I mean, and I, I show a picture of this, maybe a close up when it's done. And also, you know, the, uh, the original, I think it's, I think it's really, the color is obviously what the problem is. So, um, but we, we all expected that. We didn't think I could go on the shelf and pick out a color just by the cap. I mean, come on. I didn't, I didn't expect that, but I, I guess I'm a little much, a little bit of a dreamer sometimes, and I thought maybe I would be able to get a color that would just happen to f be an exact match. But um, I didn't, and uh, but it's a good job. I'm not, I'm not unhappy with this. It's a very good job. So um, if you'd like to see me paint this whole neck sometime to match. Uh, you know, let me know, but I'll, I'll probably keep it like this for now. Well, anyway, at that point where I ended that video, I kind of thought about it and um, I decided I was going to just remove the neck and paint it one color and it would match a lot better than what it was. But what happened was somebody saw the guitar and um, they were happy with it the way it was and liked it and they offered me this um for a trade and although i like that guitar i've never had one one of these uh arch tops um this is a very cheap one and it was in pretty bad shape um but i i really wanted the trade so i they were happy with, with it the way it was so i didn't do any more work to it although painting it would have uh one color would have really improved it so um yeah, look for this in a future video. Um, this is a, like a 1960s. 1960s Harmony. Um, I think it's an H1215. The top was sunken in, and there's a bunch of uh, shims underneath the bridge. So I, I took some advice from Ken Falsgraf, and uh, 
I didn't, I was going to take the back off to fix it, but I didn't. So, but I'll tell you everything that I did, including install this uh, little pickup here in a future video. So the other guitar is in good hands. The guy loves it. He's been playing it and um, very happy with the feel of it. Okay, so keep, uh, keep an eye out for this in a future video. Thanks for watching.